Hey guys, exciting video today. There's my mom. <laughs> uh, the lawnmower is finally here and we have to go buy gasoline for it because it's not like electric or anything. But let me just show it real quick. There we are. Here is the brand new mower. It's so cool though, like uh, the handle, but I'll show you guys later. This is just like a sneak peek of it, but I'll show you guys the handles you control with. It's, it's like a go-kart. It's a go-kart with giant blades on it. It's super cool. I'll show you guys how it drives later. Yeah, there we go. Me and my dad right here <laughs> are going to go get gasoline for the, for the uh, mower. That's the word. Yeah, it's a specific kind of gasoline, and uh, I forgot what the guy at the dealership told me, but we'll, fig we'll figure it out. <laughs> wonderful sphinx gas station so we stopped by this gas station they didn't have the right size tank because ours is three gallons they only had two and it's just pointless to get that and they didn't have the right kind of gas so now we're driving to yet another gas station to uh find the right gas right dad <laughs> so yeah i'll uh i'll let you know when we get there So we just got to the other gas station and nobody works there. It's like one of those, uh, just put the card in and pump. So yeah, now we have to go to Walmart to uh, find a gas canister. So just keeps adding things that we need to do. I'll let you know when we're there. All right, here we are at glorious Walmart. The weirdest thing about it, and it doesn't show up on the video because of the light. Their Walmart is green. I don't know why it's green instead of blue, but, uh, yeah. So now we have to do is get in and buy a gas canister. All right, so we're here. Uh, we were trying to find where the gasoline would be, the gasoline uh, canister would be. So we're asking, <laughs> we're asking the lady, it's like, oh, well, gasoline pump. And uh, she's looking at us, she doesn't understand what we're saying. And she looks at my dad and asks if he speaks Spanish. Uh, <laughs> he does not, neither of us. Do. Uh, so yeah, now we're, I had to show her a picture of it, but now she knows what it was and she said it's in the back here. Oh wow. It's a lot. Oh, I see him. All right. We found gas canister five gallons and now we're looking at soccer balls They literally have like every sport thing. They have gut little toy guns, they have lacrosse, they have fishing, they have a trampoline. And there's so much of it. You'd think these people just play sports all day with how much stuff there is. It's kind of crazy. And the basketballs. All right, so we got everything. <laughs> And, and while that we're in there, my dad's like, Ar Arnak, have you seen, like, all this stuff? Like, look at all the fishing rods and, like, the children's toy guns. And he's like, have you ever seen them? I'm like, yeah, I I've been to Walmart before. That's just how Walmarts are. <laughs> but, like, we've, we've walked into this Walmart together. We've just never, like, looked in it. It's just like, oh, we go black chlorine and we're done. 
Now it's like we actually explored it. And it was, how was your first Walmart, Dad? <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Now all we have to do is go pump non-ethanol gasoline, fill it up the tank, and then I get to mow the lawn. Yay. There we go. There we are. There we are. Five gallons of non ethanol gas. All right, there we go. Filled it up, it spat out a little bit at me. I thought it was like a car where you put the nozzle all the way in and then just leave it. No, no, that, that was not the right way to think. It's a canister, you just kind of fill it up on the ground. But yeah, there we go. We have a full tank of gas and a dream. <laughs> and that dream is a, a singly cut lawn. So I have to go do that dream. And you guys will see that dream. As I hold it, just get a good grip. There we go. Squeeze. That's not working. Let me fill this up. Hold on. It's so uncomfortable to do. Okay. There we go. There we go. Alright, it's done filling up, now I just need to go put this somewhere safe and uh, I can start mowing the lawn. Alright, ready? There's a bear in the neighborhood. Our neighbor just came and warned us of a, of a bear, so. Ugh. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to switch the blades. Hold on, let me see if I can do this. I'm going to start it up. <laughs>
All right, guys. So I don't know how much actual video footage I got of me mowing the lawn, but I mowed it every, every single <laughs> inch of it. Oh my God. But it wasn't that bad. I mean, this is our tool shed. I'll show the outside shot later. Here are the tools we purchased last time. Here is our chain, little chainsaw. This thing isn't great, but it works. Our blower and our push chainsaw. Yeah, my dad was using this thing while I was like the fine detail parts and I was getting the main parts. But here is, here's our Johnny Deer. Let me switch over the camera real quick. There's Johnny. It's amazing. No, no, this thing is great. Like, seriously, I'm gonna show you some stuff. The speed on it, like this thing hauls, okay? Like this thing goes pretty fast. The safety on it's good too, because like if certain points of this is in here, it won't start. You have to start at like the brake position, which is so nice. But yeah, that's what that is. Let me show off, let me show off the tool shed. That's the wonderful tool shed. So yeah, let me just give you a quick little tour of what we did. All right. So some of the grass is dead. That's not because I mowed it, that's just how it is. Um, I'm gonna have to look into lawn treatments and that sort of stuff. There's a lot of snakes here. I was mowing the grass and I saw like two serpents kind of going and I felt so bad because they were the shiny black ones which aren't poisonous, they're like corn snakes. And I felt bad so I had to like pull away from them so I didn't crush them. Um, one, because that's a mean thing to do to like a non-poisonous animal and two, because they keep away copper mouths, which are actually deadly snakes. Let me show you this, hold on. I kind of wish we had like a before shot, but before this was like a thick, like right here was all thick, thick like grass. And I just ran it right over and now we have a nice little path. But yeah, I left some of this and then I kind of edged out other stuff. That's dead right there. I need to figure that out. But yeah. For, for, I've ruined this hat, by the way. Look at it. Like, this hat used to have, like, integrity. Now it's all crushed up and sweat. But it's fine. But yeah, there we go. I think uh, one thing we need... We, so we bought all these tools. <laughs> one thing we didn't buy was this miniature chainsaw. And it's like a chainsaw on a stick. And the reason we need it is for this type of grass. It's, like, kind of thick. But, like, I don't want to ride the mower here because... If I do, mower goes down and never comes back up, which isn't something I'd like, because I really like that John deer. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. So I did a lot. I mowed a ton of grass. Um, oh, let me show you guys. Actually, I can't show you this. I depressurized our pool. So now, like, the pumps work a lot better. I'm not going to show the pool because it's, it's a little green. Every time it rains, every time it rains, it undoes all of the work I've put into the pool. But uh, when I fix the pumps, let me show you. So the pool's not at its cleanest. We just mowed the lawn around it. But if you notice here and here and here. So before those came out like really weak and I was like, oh, why are they so weak? They were so weak because the filter was filthy. Like there was just gunk caked into it and I had to like scrape it off and clean it. And now the pool filters work the way they're supposed to. So hopefully that translates to me having to do less work with the pool. But, uh, yeah, me and my dad knocked out multiple days worth of work in, in like four hours. Four, three, who's counting? I'm tired. I'm also really sunburnt. Look at this. Like, it's funny because if I go from like burnt to pasty. But yeah, I think I'm going to sleep really well tonight all right oh there's so many frogs though there's so many frogs i felt so bad because i was destroying like so many homes of my friends so yeah um i also just want to say thank you so much for everyone watching i haven't had time to like read the comments and heart them like i used to but it's, yeah, we're so busy um but oh, give me a second <laughs> but yeah spasiva uh, bye, bye, yo, spasiva. I think that means thank you very much. Yeah, bye, yo, spasiva. Um, but yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment. I do read the comments, I just don't have the time to go and like every single one. Um, 
But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Is there something else you'd want me to do? I haven't had time to like cook anything. It's just like doing yard work and stuff, which I don't mind. I, it's fun, you know, it's very rewarding, especially when like everything's clean. But yeah, I think my next project is, well, the pool's a continual project. That's never ending. But uh, I think the next thing I want to learn skill-wise is how to take care of grass because I can cut it now, but I want to make sure that like bald spots bald spots bald spots on the grass don't happen so i'll have to figure that out next but uh yeah that's pretty much it das vidanya <laughs>